Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run on this week's Empire Hunt, the Technocrat. So we are doing it on Master Difficulty, which is 1280 power. I'm about 10 power levels underneath, so strategy is good no matter what way you look at it. Uh, it's a flawless run, so it will help you get that triumph. Uh, the modifiers are, you've got Hot Knife, it's all shanks, I've got solar shields. Togetherness, so if you're apart from your fire team members, you won't get health regen back as you normally would. It's like 10, 15 seconds before you get it. So we're going to have that for the whole strike. Overlords and barrier champions and mob, mob is on. So there'll be more champions and match games on. So you've got to match the element. So we're doing it on the warlock because togetherness, the, the, the well will really help us. Uh, the rift sorry will really help us. Top tree Nova bomb. More so for the Grenade, Night Watch, Overload Champions, and Stars and Shadow for the Barrier Champions, Anarchy, which I'll speak more about as the video goes on for obvious reasons. Now I'm doing a Chargeable Light build, so I've got High Energy Fire on the Bond, I've got Blast Radius on the Boots, which rapidly defeating enemies with a Grenade Launcher would get me Chargeable Light. We've got a Shield Brick Charge, which means we should be charged with Light most of the time, because a lot of Solar Shanks. Uh, swift charge, rapidly defeating enemies with a pulse rifle, and I never put a mod on because there was no other mods I needed to use. Got the usual stuff: grenade launcher, scavenger, grenade launcher, reserves, grenade launcher, finder, um, ammo finder, and that. That's the setup. That's exactly what we're using. Remember to have uh, the mod on your bond that gives you your grenade back when you stop a champion. So I apologise. I never got this out sooner, but I've had a lot of editing problems this week. So. I've got three master law sectors to put out once I've finished editing this. So hopefully you guys enjoy the content this week. And for people that are kind of talking about the anarchy, I'm 10 power levels below this and we are going for a flawless. So if you're not cheesing it with a hunter, the anarchy is the way to go for this. And for those of you who don't have it, I did provide a video showing you how to get it solo. So hopefully that will help you do this. So when you get in here, you're going to be greeted by a barrier champion. Now I would stay up here, do all your work from up here because you can use the you can use this platform as cover from the shanks and, and the vandals and I think there's there's a drag or two down there as well. Uh make sure every time you fire, every time you're dealing with a barrier champion, I always try and put a couple of anarchy shots onto them. But once you've broke the shield with a pulse rifle, make sure you reload. There's nothing worse. Then getting a getting a, getting a barrier champion down half health and then break it, going to break his shield again, and you you haven't reloaded your pulse rifle. So make sure you reload. As you can see, I put my rift up. Make sure you do that. I've got I think I've got I think I've got eighty so eight recovery, which means I'm going to get my rift back to, uh, pretty quickly. Use it. I've got a mod on. I think I've got the mod on where I get my class ability back faster when I'm using it. Uh, definitely, definitely worthwhile having that. So once you get in here, you're going to be greeted by, in this first area, you're going to be greeted by a brig. So we're going to go over the right hand side. There's a staircase where we can kind of use it as cover. You, It's a really good place to go, but when you get over here, as you can see, I'm going to jump up to activate the brig. It's down here is what we'll place. When you activate this brig, Make sure, don't, don't get too ambitious. Let the anarchy do its job. Because once you break, you do it, it's got kind of two, two phases. So it's got the normal phase list where it's just going to shoot at you. And then you're going to break the brig. And then he's going to go airborne. Which is what he's going to start doing now. And then before it goes airborne, I'm going to put two more, refresh the anarchy. You can only put two anarchy on an enemy. I've noticed that when you put any more than that, it just blows up one that was there and replaces it with a fresh one. If you, as you can see, I took, took the break out really easily. If you get a little bit too ambitious, some of his kind of aerial shots will make it over and kill you while you're standing in cover. So be very careful when you're attacking that brig. As you can see, I took out some solar shanks. And now we've got the first of two overloads. So I've got kind of a rhythm to taking these down. And you'll see what it is. So if we start from now, I'm going to shoot. And when I break, his, break when I restop him, I'm going to char I'm going to reload, charge my grenade, and then go after him. 
99% of the time, you'll only have to stop an overload. What after the initial overload, you'll only have to stop them one more time. And the way that the reason that is, you'll see here. So we're going to reload. I've stopped them. So that's not the stop I'm talking about. So we put the grenade down. Stretch your shots out to make sure that when when he's when he's active again, you've got enough rounds in the mag to be able to to be able to stop him. So and as soon as you stop him, reload your scout rifle, charge your grenade, throw your grenade. And then go back at them and, and and the overloads if you're critting them with explosive rounds it kind of stuns them so they don't they don't do that teleporting thing and they don't shoot at you so much because you're you're stunning them <clears throat> once you take down those two champions you're gonna have two elite vandals normally what you've got left is two elite vandals and one shank you know the two overload champions have got and i think there's three down Three with the Overload Champion that you take second, and four, five, maybe six with the first one. One of them will always make it away. And there there he is there. Normally, that shank will go up to the top left, up to where we're going now. So just be, just keep an eye on your mini-map, and don't, don't go running in when you know that these two guys are still hanging about because their shots really hurt. So once you've cleared this area, you're going to make your way towards this door. It's got a shield over it, so when you make it up close, just back away a little bit. And then shoot the shoot the explosive bits and that that should be that should do a chain reaction thing. And it'll leave a couple of these trip mines left. Just take them all before you go through here. What you should get now is you should get a bunch of enemies when you get when you get through here. You should get a bunch of enemies that will charge the door. As you can see, I put a grenade down. I just try and put some damage on them. I want them all dead. Uh, I want my grenade to kill as many as I can. Now, if you get here and you'll see, I've changed to my pulse, but all the ads, most of the ads were being shielded by the server. If that happens, now you'll see here what I'm going to do. I've put the rift down. If that happens, what to do is... Put your rift down, break the shield, and then clear the rest of the ads. So what I done was, uh, what I done was, the 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 server I was shielding some of the ads. So I threw my super in because my super will kill the ads, shielded or not. And then there was two left up. Put my rift down, broke the shield, broke the shield of the server again like this. Once you break the shield again, he'll release any ads that he's still got make sure you take them and then you're not not taking secondary fire while you're trying to deal with the champion in this area here you've got as you can see some solar some solar shanks all the shanks are going to be solar so you've got shanks you've got some vandals and then you've got an overload champion if you cannot take any of them straight away as you can see there we took quite a bit with you know this this is your safe zone if you push down and you don't manage to get any of them killed come back up here because they're going to flood that area in front of you so come come back up here and as you'll see once you've cleared the ads that have pushed up here there's going to be some of them down at the bottom with the overload champion most of them are going to be shanks but you'll probably will get if you if if these if these uh if these vandals don't come up they will be waiting down there for you the overload's normally behind all these ads so same thing again, once you make sure you clear all the shanks as much as possible before you actually before you actually deal with the overload. So you can see there I've put a grenade and now I'm gonna stop him. Same same routine. Reload the scout, throw a grenade, and then just keep you see there I'm stunning him because of the headshots. And and I fired to, I fired just at the right time where just I think the last two shots stunned them the last two, two shots stopped them so i was perfect time to reload and throw the grenade again it's it's about having that synergy of stopping charging the grenade throw stopping without having to reload halfway through this this area here is kind of kind of weird so when you go i take out the exploding all the mines when i'm pushed so far down we're going to get some exploding shanks so as soon as I see anything on the map, I push back to this door. Now, they will come into the door slightly sometimes, but normally this is pretty safe. Take out the, the immediate red bar shanks, and then I'm just going to... You'll see here the chain effect that we cause here. 
all the ads down bar maybe two or three exploding exploders. Because I was just fit, kind of firing at the void, I was breaking shields and that was doing a lot of damage for me. There'll always be one exploding shank head, hiding behind here. And just make sure when you're firing at them, you back away a little bit. So, now you've got an overload and a barrier champion. There's two ways to attack this. Now, as you can see, he just came out of nowhere the first time. So because, because I was in trouble straight away, he's left me no option but to attack him the way that I normally do. But he teleported out because too far away. It just wasn't a good time. It wasn't a good time to attack him. And now we get... This is that this is what I didn't want. So now I'm gonna get some shanks. And one of them, which is the one that's gonna cause all the problems, is that one. Now that one, what's gonna happen is it's see I'm, I'm gonna get hit really hard here. So I want out of there. That shank will stop you from attacking the overload. Once if the overload stays there, you can come all the way to the back. It isn't normally the way I do it. What I normally do is, where I've thrown that grenade, if you go out there and just to the right there's a conveyor belt, you can stand behind the conveyor belt, the, the overload can't shoot you and you can take the barrier down. So as you can see, I've stopped him again, the shanks went, so now what I'm going to do is throw a really bad grenade and just feather my shots. I, I still want to have ammo left to be able to... So when I'm shooting them, I want to have ammo left to stop them at the end of the magazine. I don't want to have to reload like that. So don't be firing the scout rifle at the highest range of its uh, rounds per minute, right? So fire it a little bit slower to make sure that you've got rounds at the end. So what? obviously charge a grenade. Once you reload your, your scout rifle, charge a grenade throw your grenade and then kind of feather your shots after that to make sure that when he becomes active again when when you can stop him you've still got rounds in the magazine to do that once you break this uh self as shield like 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 always once you break this self as shield any ads that have been trapped it's worthwhile any ads that have been shielded it's worthwhile to take them before you deal with the the barrier champion again because there's nothing worse than trying to focus on a champion and having little ads just kind of hanging about, shooting at you while you're trying to deal damage. So just get rid of those. Every time, every time you break a barrier champion's shield, if there's any ads there, just try and take them out with a grenade, super, whatever. Remember the super will take them out when they're tethered as well. So you can clear an area with those. So we're going to head up to this next area. Uh, as I say, these these Empire strikes are like it's a really good way to deliver strike level content. I'm I'm actually quite liking this. So when you get here, I throw my grenade in, and as you can see, the grenade actually takes takes out the mines. So there'll be a couple of ads just hiding behind that desk. Don't push in, don't rush in. You want to do it because obviously you're not getting your health regeneration back. So just move around here, and now this is a bit of a kill zone. So what we what we do here is there's a lot there's a lot of solar shields. We want to create that effect, that explosion effect. You can see there, that's what we wanted. And now, if you can kill one normally, you'll be it'll take out quite a quite a few other enemies. But watch out because you've got a, you have got an overload champion here, and you've got two elite elite uh, vandals. So what I'm going to do is just put my rift down grenade and then stop this champion now if i if i'm being honest sometimes that's really good because throwing the grenade first sometimes it's really good because it's extra dps but sometimes it makes the overload teleport so there we go we've stopped on another grenade and then back to just make sure you're hitting them with crits that's what stops them from firing back is the crits you're, you're constantly you're constantly flinching them. And now we've got uh, elite vandals at the bottom. There's two of them. The, the, these elite vandals are a little bit annoying because they, they keep going from left to right, left to right. You can't do any kind of sustained damage on them because of their 
annoyingly fast, kind of almost erratic movement. So now I know he's almost dead. I'm just, you see there, I'm just using this cover. And there we go. He is down for the count. Make sure that you're picking up any ammunition. Make it long here. We're going to drop down and go back on myself. And now we've got two barriers. So the kind of way I deal with this, there's two ways to deal with this. There's two ways to deal with everything. There's multiple ways to deal with everything. I'm going to try and take one champion. Now you can see here I'm preemptive. I was preempting uh, with the pulse rifle. Reload my pulse. And we're going to break this shield. And there we go. That's one down. Now I got a little bit excited here. And what you'll find, especially if you're doing it like this, is sometimes, in this area especially, you'll see that's where I got a little bit, a little bit over myself a little bit. I actually thought I broke a shield. And I hadn't. So that's why why he's not dead. Make sure you break the shield. Because what happened was, I thought I broke the shield, but there was that many ads in front that they took some of the shots. I went to break, as I said, if you can take down the barrier champion, the ads are in the barrier champion. Once you break his shield, it makes it easier. Well, I couldn't because uh, I hadn't took his shield down and he was still shielding the, the enemies. And now he wants to run away. So make sure you make sure before you go and attack any other ads, make sure the barrier champion shield is down. So now we know we've got some ads kinda around here. Just again, as I say, don't don't push, don't don't be reckless at this point. You know? So I'm just breaking shields to see if I can get that domino effect. Pulse rifle is really good. This pulse rifle is really good. I quite I, I do enjoy using that. This one of the new it's the new one drops it's a world drop so you can get it from everywhere i think i've got uh feeding frenzy and dragonfly so pretty decent and push through to the next area now you're going to get to some of these areas it's not this area but you're going to get to some of these areas when, when you come around here there's going to be invisible ads and this is the first area it's going to happen where ads are just going to kind of swarm once 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 we break this guy's once this shield goes down, we break his generator that's keeping his shield up. Then we're going to be swarmed, not swarmed, but you're going to get invisible enemies coming through, uh, marauders, I believe, and an overload champion. So, again, what you're wanting to do is take all that, take, do as much damage as you can from range. So that shield's went down, so I'm just going to preempt a grenade right over there. And I wasn't expecting that to happen. I didn't want to push him because. So I, when I say I wasn't expecting it to happen, uh, I I was I wasn't expecting the Overlord Champion to to stay all the way back there. And you, I just saw it at the corner of my eye. You can just see in front of me. That's why I didn't want to push too far into the room because I got my timing off. I was in the room before the before I I uh, was in the room. I missed the invisibles. Now he's running in. This is what I expected. This is what I was looking for, was him to run into the room like that. He normally does. And now, as you can see, I'm just going to melt him down now. There are some invisibles. There were some invisibles. But there's still more. So, be careful when you're going in into this area. There's going to be more invisibles here. I thought they'd all come out. So, just I was just going to try and get the headshot to get the explosive damage but it didn't work because the uh they ran past it <laughs> just get my grenade just get my melee to see if i can get my grenade back if you're using the anarchy to do this be careful with the explosive bolts because they can do a lot of damage to you as well now we've got a barrier champion to consider go up the top of these stairs you can take out all the shanks and when i say all the shanks there'll be a couple that are being shielded by the champion but they will make their way over and you can just take them out. Then just rinse and repeat. Put a couple of anarchy shots on, on, on the champ. Work them down with your, your pulse. And then again, once you take the shield down, 
I'm going to put three so that the best way, the, the way that I prefer to do the anarchy is two on the enemy and one on the ground. And there we go. And then we're going to push through to the, the next area. Now this area, this is the one I struggle with the most, is this champion. Because it doesn't matter how often you stop him. He will just keep shooting. And as you can see, I'm red bar already. So once I stop him, I'm going to put my rift down. And hopefully, be able to pick up where I, where I left off. Stop him. And then finish him off here. This one is the one I struggle with the most. Because I feel like this one does more damage... As you can see, just a massive train of shots there. But I felt when I was doing this, when I was the first, because the first time I came in here, I got it, I, but and it wasn't flawless. I died as soon as I got to the boss. I died very quickly because I, I didn't know how to actually do the boss or how how to attack attack him solo. I got the solo on the very the flawless on my second attempt and learnt a little bit differently. But that was. That run was the run that taught me that, that this overload was the, the one that I really needed to watch out for. Because of the, the distance and he's got the higher ground, he can just back away and regenerate and there's nothing you can do because of the amount of ads that are kind of hiding in here. So you've got uh, wretches. Now I kind of almost get caught out by these wretches because one of them comes up behind me here. And I'm not used to it. You can see him just jumping there and I just ran away and slid normally he's normally over by where the shield is so just be careful with those wretches let give them the opportunity to spawn in before you push in here so not too many areas left uh till we get to the boss so when you get here you're going to have uh a kind of whole host of uh, shanks solar shanks Try and get, as you can see what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get that chain reaction, take out as many with, as many of the shanks with minimal effort as possible. Be careful as well because you're going to have uh, elite snipers over on the platforms facing you. And sometimes what's going to happen is you'll see it, see an ad, as you can see, I can see something. I knew there was another ad, another ad. sometimes they'll just, they'll never just go away. They'll always teleport to somewhere where you, you have to fight them and there it is. So make sure you've cleared this whole area before you move across. And what I'm doing is you see that sniper getting getting shots out there. Get into cover, put a weld, put a rift down, and then just make sure that you're 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 safe, that you're moving. Uh and you can take you can take these 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 out very easily. You've also got uh, spider mines up here. These 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 kind of mines. Make sure that you're not walking into one of those because well, that's not very good. Uh, as you can see, I'm just like getting two shots and dodging back in for this guy. And very easy to take down. And we're going to do the same with the next one. So let's talk about the boss now. I have a place where I go where. Uh, I, I hope I hope it looks as easy as, as as the way it kind of is because it's a very repeatable strategy. I've I've done this a few times and it always works. the The problem I had doing this on this run, you'll see, I'm actually going to get hit quite a bit. Actually, getting to the area after I take out the first uh, his first kind of main, his shield generators because I went for heavy ammo. Don't go for heavy ammo. <laughs> just just get. Backwards and forwards to from from the spot to where you need to be. When we get in here, technocrat's going to come. We're going to hit him with a grenade, super, and then we're going to hit him with with my uh, two shots from the anarchy. Then you need to get to the spot as quickly as possible. Now I actually take a long route here, which is not the way to go. It took me too long to get into the spot. The spot is so you go on this platform onto this platform and this is the spot over here right so as soon as you get in it put down your rift and then we're going to charge a grenade put that on the platform that the platform in front of you are going to be the is the only place the ads can actually shoot you from now because you've got anarchy shots you can you can pretty much load that area up with traps and anything that lands in there shouldn't survive so that's the first kind of wave of ads. Sometimes you get uh, invisibles here as well at the same time. 
Now, let's let's talk about the callouts. Don't worry about these wretches. Don't honestly don't worry about them. But uh you can see now we've got the invisibles, we've got more ads, so I'm just gonna not suck with the anarchy for two seconds just to be able to put a line up here. Takes them down, no problem. So where we are now, I call Obviously, I, I, I do the call-outs from, from where we're coming to the area. So this is front left. The other side is front right. And then where I'm shooting now is back back right. And in front of us is back left. What we're going to do is we're going to stick him, stick the boss with Anarchy. Now, I can see that I've got heavy ammo over there. That's what nearly gets me killed. Do not go for the ammo. Uh, I'm going to put a couple of shots on him. And he's got three kind of health bars. Once you get him below... A health bar as you can see there he will then produce these and you've got to break them to drop his shield right this one over here you have to get on here and then shoot them shoot the generator straight away but what happens is he now is coming after us and he starts shooting me don't do that you'll see you'll see actually what happens here so we're gonna get back up he he froze me but because I jumped I escaped it. Whoa, nearly ran into him there. That all came about because I went for heavy ammo. Now he's going to shoot me again when I jump in here. If you just get in and out, you'll see what will happen the next two runs. That won't happen because I'm not going to be stupid enough to go for heavy ammo. Now, I'm in cover, right? He managed to capture me with a little bit of his frozen. I'm in cover. I didn't have to break it. So... It just went away on its own, and I took no more damage. So we've got we've got ads coming. So if needs be, we'll charge a grenade, put it down there. I'm trying to just. You can see that the ads are coming up. They're jumping right into the grenade, which helps us get our grenade back, but also helps us do damage. I'm just going to put some anarchy down there, just to help me defend that area. As soon as I get a rift, I'm going to put the rift down. There's some uh, solar shielded shanks. Very easy to defend this area. And he can't shoot you. Now when we take his health back down, you'll see exactly what I was meaning the first time about just getting in and out. So I stick him with two in there, put one on the ground. And you can see his health just dropping. Uh, here's these invisibles. You always seem to get them. Uh, just put an anarchy down there. That takes care of anything that, that, that's that's kind of living on that platform and I'll just finish the rest of them off I can put I can put a rift down with fine now I've done this this run this is about the third time I've soloed flawless it and I've done this where I haven't had this second wave of ads and I don't know what the correlation is maybe I've got to leave the wretches up which is why I said leave the wretches. so you can see I've got heavy ammo on that that grounded platform so I don't have to worry about going anywhere stupid. Now we're going to shoot this far one first. There's three of these generators this time. The first two are very easy to shoot from here. Now you'll see exactly what I'm meaning about going onto the platform. So I'm just going to do a little bush jump over onto that platform there. Get around the other side of the pillar and break the generator. Now he will, t he will come after us so you can see I just... Jump down here, grab that heavy, straight up here. That's the way the first one should have went. But it didn't because I ran and got heavy ammo. I heard him doing his attack. So I put down uh, my, my, my rift and didn't have to break. Because I was in cover in my rift. So I just let it uh, naturally just fade away from me. And same thing again. So this next time we're going to have four generators. We are going to have to hit the ground here. So we'll take, from where we're looking now, we'll take closest left one first. Because we, we exposed ourselves a little bit to take that. Put a couple more on them. We'll take the one right in front of us and then we'll hit the ground to take at, at, well, the, the, the back left, back right. So for me, this is front, that's front left. So we'll take front left, front right, sorry. And then front left. It's kind of weird because we're looking the other way, so... It, even if we change that. I, I always have the call-outs from the way you come into the room. Now I'm going to drop down and go and get this one over here. Now you're going to have wretches on the other side. In the middle kind of of these two. So I'm just going to take them out. 
The boss is kind of staying in the center. Oh, these generators are down. He, he's he's cool. Take this the, this generator over here out. And now we've got our super, got our grenade. Exactly the same as what we done before. So up into a spot. And then if if needs be, put make sure you put that down. Put your rift down. Charge your grenade. Grenade super. Back in, and then a couple of anarchy. Job done. Easy peasy. If I hadn't went for that heavy ammo, and we'd have been fine. I, I probably would have, would have been safe for the whole run. And as you can see, it, I, I've tried it out. I've tried and tried this run out a few times. It works every time. So hopefully this helps you guys get your run done. Now, as I said, you won't. I, I don't get the triumph in this run, but it 100% is how you get the triumph. Uh, after this run goes up, I'll be putting up three master solo law sectors. So hopefully that you guys enjoy those. Now that my editing problems have gone, next week we'll be back to try and get f the first 100k of this season, actually. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take it easy, and I will see you in the next video.